Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a reading for April, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and um, Sixth House Placements, Cross Watchers. Thank you guys for your support. Please continue to like, subscribe, comment. Commenting is really big because it gets my videos circulating, all right? So I'm gonna use the Mystical Shaman Oracle just for one card to see the overall energies for Virgo in the month of April, okay? So what have we got going on? The Eagle. The eagle has landed, okay? Number 16. All right, let's see what it says about the eagle. Mm -hmm. 32. All right. Have you become trapped in your daily routine and feel you do not know where to go and what to do next? Have you lost your sense of purpose? Eagle invites you to take a deep breath and spread your wings. When was the last time you opened them? Eagle reminds you that your spirit was born to soar to the heavens. As you contemplate choices, ask yourself, do I want to live in a chicken coop sheltered from life, counting the regular feedings, or do I want to soar like an eagle? If your answer is the latter, then you must accept Eagle's invitation and embrace the courage that will help you choose freedom. All right, so I know that the world is crazy right now, and actually we are being forced, or not forced, we are trying to help ourselves in many places to by sheltering ourselves, okay? But if you're looking at, you know, if you're stuck in your home and you feel like your options are endless, this could be the time to um, soar into places, into your psyche, into your shadow self to do that self-exploration that you've been avoiding doing. So to like expand your horizons internally, okay? So um, you're not stuck in a physical world. You could always tap into your emotions, your physical body, your spirituality, okay? So even if you're physically staying in a house, there's so much you can expand internally. So don't look at it as um, a restriction. Look at it as an opportunity, okay? So um, that's what I feel like that eagle is saying. The eagle has landed. Okay, so we're going to pull a few cards. Let's see what the overall energy is for April. I'm not doing reversals today, so um, we're just going to get a few cards here with a tarot, and then I'm going to clarify it by the Threads of Fate Oracle deck, okay? So what is going on with Virgos for April? What is the upcoming energies here? I'm using the Sasarabito Tarot. Someone asked, a couple of people have asked me what deck this is because it's so beautiful. Um, I love it. So, um, yep, yeah, that's it. And I can't remember who the maker was. I remember before, but my mind just went blank. So, all right, let's see. And this Threads of Fate, which is like just so beautiful as well in this Oracle deck. All right, King of Swords, all right? So you could be... Um, either embodying this energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, kind of like detached, feeling very like almost, there was a void card turned up here. You could even feel kind of almost like emotionally void where you're using your thought process more, but let's see the card here. The sage, all right? So you're taking this eagle eyes view, I feel like, and removing your emotions, okay? And you're becoming very wise. You're using your intellect, your, your, um, your even your intuition but not in this like emotional way in this very detached way i'm trying to find the threads of fate book and just see what it says for sage okay but um let's see you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius in april this could be like a father figure that was very stern and emotionally unavailable with you too that you're starting to have more clarity and wisdom about so let's see what it says for the sage here 108 Hard to turn in here. All right, the sage. The sage encourages you to see things from a higher perspective. Sage love teaches others, but knows when and when not to share their thoughts with others. They save their energy and their wisdom for those that can truly value and integrate it. We may feel pas passionate about what we're saying, but we also must allow for individual responsibility. So. That's very interesting because the King of Swords, the Swords are about communication, but they're a lot more cautious about their communication versus like a Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're making wise decisions as well about when to communicate things and when to hold back things, okay? And if you haven't, that could be something to work on in April, okay? The Seeker, all right? 
and seven of cups okay so you guys are really like exploring your options here okay you're trying to find something that maybe either emotionally fulfills you distracts you you're seeking something but i encourage you guys to seek within and not without okay don't get caught up in these lofty like illusions and even like addictions and um things that distract you like i said use this time to seek within okay because i feel like you have this like um reservoir of knowledge of wisdom that you could tap into and that april would be a good time we've got death and five of wands wow okay so something in you might feel like it's dying or something in your physical world might die um but i feel like it's all about transformation okay and uh it could be that you're finally putting an end to some conflict that you had in the past this was reverse but i said i wasn't gonna do reverse but i will say five of wands reverse is about inner conflict so it's like putting an end to this inner turmoil that you've had about something okay um let's see i just want to comfort you guys like with everything that's going on to pull the death card might be a little scary but i want to you guys to hear what it says in this book because death i never really actually i see it's quite positive because it usually means the birth of something too this card signals an ending change or metaphorical death is currently happening or on the horizon it may feel like the universe is stripping things away from you you may feel shaken raw and uncertain this is okay this period is preparation for what is to come that's what i said new adventure adventure and abundance is making its way to you and it needs space so if things seem like a tower moment know that it's all making space for good positive things to come your way it's all about making wise decisions right now and using this time to propel you forward not to stay stuck okay that's the feeling i'm getting so we're gonna go into a romantic and uh, dynamic here to see what's going on in your love life i'm gonna pull three mystic moon oracle cards three hidden truths three um mystic moon uh, uh spirit of uh spirit of darkness and light i don't know why i was like getting caught up on that and then three tarot okay i know i'm making like these big piles but i want to really get the story here of what's going on in your romantic love lives okay and still no reversals when i use the tarot in these decks okay in these piles And I feel like King of Swords could also kind of, even though it's like air sign energy, it could be your energy because you guys are very like good at like being critical thinking and stuff like that. So um, Mercury ruled, rules Virgo, but it also rules Gemini. So it's kind of that Gemini energy too. The world, this is what I'm saying. The death is all about that something coming to completion here, okay? Whatever lessons you need to learn, it's all coming together. And then it says, I regret lying to you. Fate, destiny, and free will. Spider. Wow. And fifth dimension. All right. So you, this person you're connected to, you may not be connected to them in the physical, but you feel like something is happening where things are finally closing up, like chapters, okay? Um, someone might finally, like, you know, admit to you that they regret, like, lies, and this could be the end of, like, a energetic hold that you had, like, a negative hold, and you could start brand new. Um, it could just be, like, a faded conversation or a faded, like, closure that's meant to happen, but I also feel like this is, like, a soulmate that you're dealing with, with fate and destiny. It's all kind of, like, written in the stars, okay? that it was supposed to happen at this time the moon wow so it could be the next full moon that's very significant for you um they also could be dealing with a pisces but i feel like it's this under world of emotions that might be coming up clarity awareness and truth that's that's what i was saying where they might come forward it's time for me to heal now and refocus yeah i feel like you're like really um delving into these things inside of you that like really stir you up that really kind of are like these hidden things that you've been hiding from yourself and you are trying to propel yourself forward and refocus and get more clarity and truth but I feel like you're going to find things out where maybe you find out lies and this person ends up coming to you with the truth okay and then it's time for you to heal all right so I feel like the truths are going to come out I'm going to pull from twin flame shadows and just get clarity on that this is another spirit of air 
um, air sign. So you could definitely could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but also communication, okay? So I feel like someone is going to finally communicate to you a truth here. Dependent. And stagnant, okay? So I got stagnant for another sign, but I feel like you need to have movement. And that's what I was like saying with the death, like, if you've been codependent, it's time to move that energy. And I feel like there might be a tower moment that kind of rattles you, but it's like everything is going to kind of be destined and faded and end up helping you in the end to propel you forward, okay? Ace of Wands. Yep, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. Finally, like your sacral and solar plexus come alive and you start feeling passionate about something. Spirit of the Lighthouse, return belonging, guiding light, okay? So this could be someone from the past reigniting something with you, okay? You were the best thing in my life, wow. All right, so reigniting, like I feel like maybe someone from your childhood or like a past love or someone that really feels like home, okay? Wow. And then the family. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This person is very comforting. I feel like there's someone from your past that you know, you guys might have been very dependent on each other and you had to separate, but I do feel like you will have a reconnection and a reigniting of passion with this person, okay? All right, I'm gonna get two last messages from Twin Flame Messages, volume two, and see what this person wants to communicate to you. It all comes down to timing. That's what I was like. I feel like this chapter was supposed to happen in April and you still hold a piece of my heart. So I feel like it could have been a long time that you guys were separated and you've waited a long time, but I feel like they're going to finally come forward after a long time. I want to just pull one last card from my Twin Flame message, uh, Poetic Confessions and see what um, one last energy here mutual okay so i feel like the timing will be right for both of you it's not in your head i feel it too but i'm a clumsy person who never knows what to do so i feel like this is going to be when the timing is right for both of you and i feel like that could be upcoming okay but i feel like it's not about being in that stagnant energy it's about moving forward and doing things that you feel passionate about and that you feel emotionally like and creatively driven to be connected to okay and it could be with an air sign, like I said, but that doesn't have to be. All right, so that's your reading, Virgo. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.